Back in the 1980s, RPGs, especially in the West, were pretty hard to come by. That being said, some of them were super solid, but haven't been seen in almost 40 years. Hey y'all, my name is Justin, aka Shanky, and this is Shanky JRPGs. I love JRPGs. And the Nintendo Entertainment System had some really decent ones, but let's be honest, in 2024, these games can be incredibly difficult to play, be it accessibility, archaic game mechanics, or just not being available on current hardware. Today, I want to talk about 10 JRPGs released on the NES that would benefit from a remake. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, if you like RPG reviews and top 10 lists, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ding that notification bell. Anyways, it's time to ice that drink and pop that corn, and let's talk about 10 NES RPGs that deserve a remake. Okay, let's get an absolutely terrible game that is in a disastrous need of a remake. Hydelide. Released in June of 1989, is an agonizingly terrible game that just needs nothing more than a remake. The concept of Hydelide is simple. The princess has been transformed into three fairies by the evil demon Viralis, and it's your job as Jim the Knight to defeat Viralis and save the princess. The gameplay of Hydelide is terrible. It's like if you took the East's bump system and made it a hundred times worse. Now, Hydelide did get a remake with Virtual Hydelide on the Sega Saturn, but I don't know how they did it, but somehow they managed to make it even worse. The series managed to get four games, and each one is just as bad as the last. It would be nice to get a remake of Hydelide that expanded the gameplay, maybe the story a little bit, and just the overall experience of the game. However, don't you dare change that main theme though. It's not Hydelide without that theme as infuriatingly repetitive and frustrating as it is. Next, let's talk about The Legend of Zelda, released on August 22nd in 1986. Now don't get me wrong, the original Legend of Zelda is an absolute masterpiece, and I am aware of the remake that was temporarily released for the Satellaview add-on for the Super Famicom. However, if we were to get a remake for this, I would like it to be in the style of Link's Awakening on the Switch. It would be the perfect style for a remake of this classic game. Maybe you could even add some lore, give the old woman and the old man a backstory, rework the dungeons, expand the details on the world map, and give the bosses some new mechanics. There's just so much that can be done with this game, so that gamers that weren't around when Zelda was released on the NES could enjoy it like we did. I love the Zelda franchise, and while Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are amazing, they just don't feel like the Zelda that I grew up with, so bringing back the old style with a remake would be absolutely perfect. This next one is actually the game that inspired this video. Zelda II The Adventure of Link, released on December 1st, 1988. Yes, I know I just talked about a Zelda game, but Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 are so incredibly different. So anyways, I was playing Super Smash Bros. Melee and doing the Underground Maze minigame in the adventure mode. And it just came to me, I'm like, what if the adventure of Link was like this? For those of you that haven't seen Zelda 2, it is a side-scroller RPG, complete with level ups and magic, stat increases, and so on. If I was in charge of a remake, I would probably get rid of the game over system because losing experience is kind of agonizing. I would expand the level up system instead of choosing to level up a specific stat, maybe have it done automatically and make level ups a bit easier, and just rebalance the difficulty in accordance with those level ups, and give the game a bunch of new secret areas for your either bonus experience or secret items. The Adventure of Link has so much room for improvement. It could be turned from the black sheep of the series to one of the best, with just a little bit of work. Yes, I'm aware we have had Dragon Quest 1 to 3 ported to many, many systems, but honestly, we haven't had a true remake of any of them. Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, released from May of 1986 to February of 1988, absolutely deserve remakes as these are some of the most iconic JRPGs to be released. I am well aware that Dragon Quest 3 is getting an HD 2D remake, 
But is it really? The announcement of Dragon Quest 3 HD was back in May of 2021, along with Dragon Quest 12. And at this point, I'm kind of starting to get skeptical. But that's an idea for another video. I would say nothing too fancy, just remake Dragon Quest 1 and 2 in the same vein as Dragon Quest 3's announced remake. I would be a happy camper. And while we're talking Dragon Quest, bring the remakes of 4 to 6 to current hardware please. Okay, thanks Square Enix. Mother. No, not your mother. That guy's mother. Okay, no one's mother. We're talking about Mother the Video Game, released in July of 1989 and not localized in the West until June of 2015 on the Wii U Virtual Console. Mother, or Earthbound Beginnings, is the first game in the Mother series and suffers from that typical NES RPG syndrome. It's a very archaically designed game, with being forced to talk to every NPC to get a hint of the next destination and incredibly high encounter rates. I understand that this is just what JRPGs were like back in the 1980s, but when trying to play games like this today, it just doesn't fly. In fact, it's due to this that I haven't actually finished the first Mother game. I would be happy with either an HD 2D remake, could you imagine? Or even just a gameplay and graphical style like Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. Visible encounters, story scenes to advise on the next destination, with just a tiny bit of a graphical upgrade. Mmm, perfect. Faxanadu. One of those early Falcom games before they became a household name in the West like they are now. Faxanadu, released in August of 1989, is an action RPG. It kind of gives me hardcore Simon's Quest vibes. Could it possibly be one of the earliest Metroidvanias? Well, you know, other than Metroid itself. Quite possibly. This game's soundtrack is beautiful, and I'd love to have it re-recorded outside of the beeps of the NES. If this game was to get remade, I feel having the graphics in the vein of Mega Man 11 would be perfect. I'd play the heck out of it. There's just something about 2D side-scroller action RPGs that hits different. Kinda reminds me of Potful Mail. You can't have a top 10 list without at least one movie tie-in game, right? Willow, released in December of 1989 by Capcom, is an action RPG in the same vein as Zelda. Even the main character looks like Breath of the Wild Link. Honestly, thinking of this game, the first thing that comes to mind is that beautiful box art. It's so weird to see a live action box art on an RPG. This game just looks like a lot of fun, and while I'm aware that movie tie-in games are an absolute nightmare to get ported for licensing reasons, or even worse, remade, it's still a game I feel deserves a remake because this game is just fun in its purest form. Sure, it's a Zelda game in its core, but you have intensive sword battles, and magic, and victory, assuming you have the motivation to reach for it. This is honestly just a nostalgic choice for me because I have so many memories playing this growing up. Okay, I lied. We get another movie tie-in game. Capcom seemed to be all about the movie tie-ins in the 1980s. Sweet Home was released in December of 1989 only in Japan. However, it does have an English fan translation. Sweet Home was developed alongside the movie of the same name. It's a very interesting RPG. Yes, the battle system is turn-based. However, the gameplay outside of battle is kind of like Resident Evil with all the puzzle solving. The main reason I feel we could use a Sweet Home remake is because horror RPGs are very rare these days. We used to get things like Parasite Eve and Shadow Hearts, but lately we don't have much at all. I guess we have Penny Blood, which I can't wait for, but other than that, I can't think of any horror RPGs on the horizon. Horror games? Not really my jam, but throw RPG elements in and I could definitely give it a shot. Ooh, Crystalis. SNK's Lost Action RPG. Crystalis was released in July of 1990. I love Crystalis. It was one of the first action RPGs I played, and I had so much fun. It's basically a top-down Zelda-style action RPG, but with elemental swords to target weaknesses and solve puzzles. 
This is another game that I feel would benefit from the Link's Awakening style of remake. I only played the Game Boy Color release of this, but regardless, I'd love for it to get a full-on remake. You don't even need to change things. Other than maybe a dedicated magic button, a dedicated item button, perhaps expand the story, that would be all you really need. I'm honestly curious if anyone else has ever played Crystallis. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I can't do an NES video without mentioning Star Tropics at least once, right? Star Tropics 1 and 2, released in 1990 and 1994, respectively. I've talked about Star Tropics a few times before. In fact, I've done a review on both of them. I'll make sure the links are in the description below. Anyways, after all, the first game is one of my favorite games of all time. I just want a remake of this game because Nintendo has forgotten about this IP and doesn't seem to care. However, a remake of the games might be a little bit difficult. I feel if a remake were to happen, the whole game would have to be redone. You couldn't use the grid system in the current age, despite Star Tropics 1 being designed around it, because I feel it wouldn't work very well and would just be frustrating. Maybe a complete 3D remake with each dungeon recreated with beautiful voice acting? You gotta keep the humor though. Bananas and ears. And I swear, if the games get remade and we lose Rob, I will be very upset. As for Star Tropics 2, yeah, you can't ruin a remake of that. That game was barely Star Tropics as far as I'm concerned. As I mentioned before, I've reviewed both games, so maybe check those out after you're done here. So there you have it. 10 RPGs that I feel need and deserve remakes. What exactly did you think of my list? Have you played any of the games I mentioned? Or maybe I missed a game that you feel deserves a remake. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoy reviews and top 10 lists like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ding that notification bell. Anyways, as always everyone, take it easy and have a wonderful day. Super Retro Force.